everything. All right, pure heart. That's the collective energy always. Put that right there. Uh, we have here underage. Okay, secret society. Tell me more. Somebody got to wear an ankle monitor or maybe they they they're going to have to wear an ankle monitor. All right. We have here uh, any of these years could be significant or maybe this could be, you know, a building number or something. The same thing with this one. And we have the karmic is tapping their phone. OK, <laughs> so somebody's dealing with a karmic and their karmic is tapping their phone so if you're watching you need to go get that checked out maybe this person got um you know like some type of computer hacker or some bullshit to hack your phone so they're able to see your conversations they're able to read you know your text and all that bullshit bottom of the deck we have intentionally burning people so this this could be the karmic we have bad reputation as well okay so let's start pulling from these other cards and see what we get. So this is this weekend. Okay. Today or tomorrow or even Sunday. All right, Spirit, clarify. Let's clarify more into this. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what to clarify. Just, just let Spirit put it together. So Spirit, let me know. What, what, what does the collector need to know? All right, we have the letter N here. The karmic stole money from them, all right? So we have a karmic tapping into their phone and stealing money from them, and they cannot keep up with their lies. So this kar this karmic don't even remember her lies anymore. She's stealing, and she's uh, tapping into people's phones. All right, we have drug user. This could also be, maybe, they're, maybe they have your iCloud password or some bullshit. All right. Or even your location. And you need to be alert when it comes to this karmic because these karmics have demonic attachments on them and they are unpredictable and you don't know what the fuck they're trying to do to you. So just be alert of your surroundings and what's going on here. All right. So drug user, that's probably why they, they cannot remember their lives no more because they, they probably all perked up with some bullshit. All right. Or drinking too much. I don't know. All right. Keep going. Spirit. What else? Life path number five. Somebody could be a life path number five. If you don't know your life path, Google it. All right, so we have a boyfriend here. Who's too scared to leave. Oh my God. Let's send him, let's send him some love and light right now. Let's do a, a moment, a moment of silence, y'all. <laughs> Because, you know, somebody's scared to leave a situation. And, and it's, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. Because maybe there's, you know, there's violence. Maybe this karmic is, like, blackmailing this person that has been coming out before. Um, and they're on drugs. So, you know, they're probably, again, unpredictable and on some bullshit. So they're too scared to leave. But they need to leave. Yeah, look, we have a cokehead. This person could be also um, a cokehead, you know. That's what we have here with drug user. Tell me more, spirit. All right, so this this karmic, if you, if I'm talking to the masculine right now, because I, I could be talking to the masculine, I could be talking about your masculine. All right, if you're watching, uh, maybe your masculine is caught up in a karmic cycle and he he needs to free himself from that. So this karmic has been binding him by having sex with him on her period. So FYI, if y'all doing that, stop doing it because a lot of people don't know that that is a is a binding. It, it, it binds people together. And that shit could get ugly, all right? It could get ugly. So don't don't have sex with people on your period, please. All right? So that's what's going on here. Every time that they fuck each other and he hits it with the, with the period, he's getting more deeper into this. That's why he's so scared to leave. You know, he's like binding himself and he don't even know. All right? 
Oh, y'all look at this. So we have that the the either the karmic or this person could be coming towards you. So let's see. And they got bad intentions. All right, we have ex lover, ex friend, and an ex husband. I don't know up all all these exes here. <laughs> so it could be that maybe somebody's gonna come towards you, or they're gonna come towards the masculine. All right, I'm just gonna talk like I'm talking to the masculine. All right. So somebody gonna come towards you this weekend with bad intentions. They could be drunk when they do it. Something about a catfish. Maybe they're trying to set you up. If you're talking to people online, don't be meeting up with nobody online because they're going to catch you slipping. It's not going to be who you think it is. And um, with let go and let spirit, it could just be that, uh, you know, spirit is saying let go. You know, let us handle all this shit for you or something. All right. Let us let us handle it. Like whatever they're doing, they're not going to be able to, uh, to get away with it. Whatever it is that they're trying to do. All right. Let's see what else. This dating thing could also be somebody who's underage. So let's see what else. We have forced control. So yeah, that's that's the karmic trying to force, trying to control, trying to manipulate. All right, tell me more. All right, look, we have knows your address. So again, coming towards you with bad intentions and they know your address. We have the letter V here. This could be um if it ain't if it ain't for the masculine. And the karmic knows about the divine feminine. She could be trying to come towards you. Let me clarify this. Hold on. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit, um, who are they coming towards? Let's see if we could get like some type of clarity. Who are they coming towards? If I see a masculine card, it's a masculine. If, it's, if a feminine card, is a, is a divine feminine. I have a hierophant. So they could be coming towards the Taurus. I have a Taurus here. Uh, they could be coming towards, but this this could be a it could be a man because the picture of the hierophant is a man. So let me do one more. Clarify, please. They are determined to have you, you know, not comfortable, to have you stressed out, out of balance. Yeah, eight of swords and the devil. Wow. So I feel like whoever, whoever they're trying to come towards, right? They're trying to get this person locked up, all right? And they're connected to the devil. Tell me more. All right, so who they're going to come towards is somebody that uh, is trying to move on. So it's not you, Divine Feminine. They're going to come towards the Masculine. Because the Three of Swords is talking about a breakup, a separation. So maybe this person walked away from the Karmic. And if you did, they're going to try to come towards you with some fake apology. And they're going to try to come and, and heal the connection. All right? They want a reconciliation. But Spirit is saying that this person has some type of thirst, some type of hunger here to get revenge on you. All right? And, and they are determined for you not to get this comfort, you know, this uh, freedom. You know, maybe they don't, they don't want you to have this without them. And they're going to try to do something that's going to end up getting you locked up. All right? Eight of Swords. A prison. All right? So this weekend, you just need to be careful, all right? Illumination, yeah, you know, like everybody's letting you know what's going on. They are illuminating what this bitch's plan is. Now, something interesting, too. I was watching a reading yesterday, and in the reading, the woman mentioned that this secret society was going to send a young person from the ages of 15 or 17, but it's basically somebody who's underage, right, to, to link up with this masculine and it could be what's going on here because i've been noticing that those readings have been resonating with with the collective because we're all tapping in to the same collective consciousness all right we're all tapping into the same source basically so you know they're all getting the same the same tea as me so in her reading they were saying that this secret society was getting a, a underage girl to reach out to the guy to get him caught up and that could be again online dating catfish you know, pretending that she's older or something like that. And then when she links up with the dude, they was going to end up using that against him. And and the way that she that she explained everything, she was like that uh, basically the guy, you know, he hooks up with the, the underage girl and then... Um